everyone, it's John out at the property. I cut my hair and am on the first step of actually building the house, which is stringing out the four corners to be able to place our piers. Um, it's a little bit of a makeshift met method that I use today, so I'll take you through my first steps, um, getting the string line down as a rough estimate and how we're going to fix it from there. Okay, so I'm using batter boards and traditionally, what you would do is have two posts where these rocks are, nail them into the ground, and then attach your batter board to it, and then attach your string lines to there. Um, we are on gravel that's on top of solid rock, so it really wasn't working to dig posts in. So what I wound up to have do is just put my batter board down on the ground and hold it down with rocks. And it's not going anywhere, so it should work. And to figure out where to put my four batter boards, you can see I have all four down, I just picked one corner, and just measured, marked with spray paint where our dimension was, which is 36 feet. So I measured from here to there 30, 36 feet, there to there 32 feet, there to there 36, and here to here 32, just to get a rough estimate of where batter boards should be. Then I put a screw in kind of where I thought that X would be level with here and ran a string line down to that end, made sure it was over this X and did the same thing on all four corners. You can see that I just had this paper here. Um, you can see my fading X. This point where they cross over is right on top of that. And now what I'm gonna do is go through and measure exactly from this cross to that cross, how far we're at. And I'll also measure the diagonals to see if we're square. And from there, I'll kind of adjust how far I move these string lines to the left or right to be able to get the exact dimensions. Okay, now we're going to be adjusting the string lines to make sure that they are the exact measurements that we need. So I'm gonna hook this tape measure onto that line, measure how far it is from the cross. And we're at one foot and just under four eighths inches. Just under a foot and three and three and a half inches. So we'll take this all the way down. And we'll pull it tight, but not too tight because these do stretch. Um, so you want to be want it to not be hanging down, but you don't want to be pulling it so it stretches too far. And we'll see we are at just under four inches. So we need to go to the left about just over two eighths inches. So what I'm gonna do is grab my drill, which I left over there. By the way, check out the new kicks from Ross, 20 bucks. My fiance says I look like a DeWalt power tool and I'm vibing with it, I like it. Okay, anyways, so uh, we can see my makeshift batter board's gonna cause us a problem. And I will take this screw out Make sure that you're parallel with your string line. From the hole of the screw, measure two eighths inches. Up to my hole, and then I'm just going to screw this screw. That screw is in. I'll take my string line, hook it back on, and then I'll take this tape measure again, and we should be at just, I said just over, three and a half, and we are at under by about an eighth inch. So I'm gonna go back an eighth inch the other way. Okay, I went back an eighth inch the other way, and we are looking, once I pull that string line right, still a little bit off. So I'm still gonna go a little bit this way. Let's try this again. And we are at just over, just over three and a half. Exactly where we wanted to be. So I'm just going to repeat that process on all four sides. And we'll keep going round over round until we've added all the fine touches and we're at the exact measurements for each corner. After that, I'm gonna check the diagonals to make sure we're square. Okay, everyone, it did start raining on me, but let me show you where I am with the next step. So, we have our four sides all at these two at 32 feet and those two at 36 feet. 
Now, I just put a screw here on the diagonal. I'm gonna see that we're at 10 and a half inches. And I know that our diagonal needs to be 42 inches or 42 feet and two inches thanks to the Pythagorean theorem. So if you add 10 inches to that, we should be right at 49 feet for diagonal. Let's see. Or 10 and a half, I said. Should be at 49 and a half and we are at right at 49 and a half. Scared me for a second, I forgot. I'm gonna check back again because I'm really worried that I said 10 and not 10 and a half. But I did say 10 and a half, let's go. So that diagonal is all set. We're gonna check the other diagonal, but I think geometry says that if one diagonal is right, the other one's right, but I could be wrong on that. But I'll double check it. And once that's set, I am just going to add a crap ton of rocks to these to really make sure they don't move around because this really is not smart to have these laying around because if they move even an eighth of an inch, I'm kind of screwed. So probably not the best idea, but it'll work for now. So I'll just check that other diagonal, add some more rocks, and the next step will be measuring out where our piers are going to go. everyone we're back out at the property digging the holes and here you can see the square that I have marked off here 18 inches around um, we got our piers delivered yesterday um, and I figured out that they are 15 by 15 even though they were listed as 12 by 12 so I had my holes marked out at 18 I'm gonna try and make them a little bit bigger um, but I'm gonna time-lapse the process basically this entire property consists of compacted gravel. Um, so hopefully what it'll be and what it's done on the first hole that I did um, is just getting that gravel loose. So basically hitting it with the backside of a hammer and trying to get it loose and just pulling it out. Um, our piers are, uh, here I'll show you over here. So the piers are 15 by 15. And then they are said 16 inches tall. Um, I think they're a little bit shorter than that. So we're trying our best to dig the holes so that they come up to this line here, just the way that all of this base is underground. Um, it is really tricky to dig these holes, so we might be a little bit under, but really, um, from what I've researched, honestly, we could just set them on the ground and it would probably be fine just because the house is so heavy. The reason why you want to bury them is in case of an updraft, it could like lift your house, shift it. Um, so you want these buried if you can. Um, so we're digging the holes probably around six to eight inches deep. We'll put a little bit of this gravel, back gravel on, tamp it down with a tamper, get it nice and level, and then we'll set these on top. So right now I'm just going to show you time lapse of us digging this hole um, so you can see the process. having fun. <laughs> I just started like a second ago.
cut the cheese. Don't get that one. Kids just break it in <laughs> Oh, you want it on you? Yeah. It's been recording. Okay. So, we've been trying to... Do you want it on you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, we've been... We've been... Okay, now you can show. <laughs> trying to dig this rock out for the past, like, hour. For context, this is how big the holes are supposed to be. And this rock but is... for size. Yeah. Don't sell that. <laughs> This rock was sitting right in the middle of it, and we've literally spent the last hour digging it out like all over the place. Our hole is totally ruined. But <laughs> I still... but I think I think we've got it. Okay, Makaya, come come help. You have to set up some rocks. Okay. They can see the rock coming out though. I'll just hold it with my teeth. <laughs> It's gonna be too heavy. Oh, it's your head. What? Oh. Your head. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow! And here they are. So they're all lined out. We decided to do six by four. Uh, so that's a total of 24 holes. And by code, they could be no more than 10 feet apart. Um, and so we have these rows exactly 10 feet apart. And then these columns are seven feet apart. Um, so that gives us a dimension of 30 by 35. However, our actual dimensions of our house are going to be 32 by 36. So right now these lines I disconnected so that I could dig the holes, but they connect right up to those batter boards and those actually extend beyond the center of the holes. And that's because our subfloor is actually going to extend off the joists by a half inch on each side on this side and a foot off each side on that side. Um, and that's totally fine. Like the weight will be able to hold. Um, we just made these smaller so that we could do 10 foot spacing so that we could order 10 foot boards um, as well as um, have seven foot spacing between these so we can use eight foot boards and just have a little bit of extra. Uh, one thing that I didn't record that I wanted to show you guys is how I got the spacing of the piers, like how I measured it out. All I did was measure 10 feet from the center of that hole to here and put a mark on the string line. And I did the same thing on the other line. And all I did was attach a string to a rock over here and a string to rock over there and laid the line so that it laid over right over the mark that I laid. And then I just measured out seven feet, spray painted seven feet, spray painted a dot. And then from that center dot, I was able to mark out uh, they're 18 inch holes, so nine inches on every side, and then connect the dots to form a square with the spray paint. And that's why I marked out these piers to know where to dig. Mm -hmm.